Hey guys, as always, a big welcome back. Today we're going to be reviewing the uh, latest update for the Phantom 3 by DJI. This is the Phantom 3 Advanced. And I'm going to be doing a follow me test here. Um, now I've done a couple of flights with the follow me. And initial, uh, initial thoughts are I'm not that excited about it. I, you know what? It's a really cool concept. And, you know, maybe it works really well on a straight road. Actually, it does work quite well on a straight road. Um, however, I decided to take it to a construction site and, uh, and give it a little run for its money as if I was in an off-roading situation or something and wanted to be able to get aerial. So what I'll tell you is that during this flight, you will see that, um, for starts, I was just uh, talking to a guy there, and I set it to the height I wanted, uh, 11 meters. And I'm gonna start going in a second here. And at, at, during this uh, flight, I'm only controlling the gimbal. I'm not doing anything for steering. So the steering is all automatic. And um, I'm gonna, you guys can watch the video and see what you think. Um, I was just hoping for a little better uh, of the follow me, I guess. So let's get to it. I'm going to start moving here in a second, or the, rather the camera will. It um, seems it has a little delay. I was hoping that I could uh, be a little closer to the truck than it really ends up going. So if we look at the distance, it says I'm 3.6 meters um, away. That seems a little odd because I was definitely more than 9 feet. Um, but... It, it is what it is. I know it's not a perfect science. So we're going to see, first thing you'll notice on the left hand side of the screen is the uh, home point uh, keeps getting set. What it's doing is setting the controller as the home point. So this is one of the benefits to it. If you wanted to do a long drive, you could essentially do this and the home point keeps changing. So that's, uh, that's a good thing. Um, so in the event something goes wrong and you lose signal or something like that, you won't have to, you know, potentially go back a couple kilometers if you were having it follow you that long. And um, that's that's definitely good. The bad would be that the drone seems to have trouble, especially on turns, trying to figure out exactly what you're doing. Um, I don't know if there's some kind of a fix for this. I don't believe I did anything wrong. There's no... Uh, no settings that I'm aware of. It just kind of has a mind of its own. So as soon as I start turning one way or the other, it's all over the place trying to figure out exactly what I've done. And uh, so I'm just going to continue along here. And oops, it's going to say, oh shit, we thought you were going to go straight. Nope. Turn around. And uh, I want to make sure I'm saying, though, that, guys, I'm not saying that this is a useless program um, or, or function, rather. I, I definitely will use it. I was just hoping that I could stay this low and get some really good uh, video. And so I went that way. I don't know. I wasn't comfortable, I guess, with something I saw there or whatever. Um, I believe here I'm actually going to lift it up. I decided because it was having some trouble following me, I thought, oh, I'm going to lift it up a bit. So that's exactly what I'll do here is uh, get it up to try to widen the field of view. Um, there I go up. And I'm still thinking, oh, I don't, I don't see me. But I'll start rolling here in a second. You'll see me pop back into frame. And there we go, it realizes that I've started moving and it's trying to find me. There I am, I'm already all the way over there before it realized what was going on. And unfortunately, like, I, I wish it had a little bit better um, ability to stay focused really. And now I'm just gonna hide behind the map. Here we go, booting along. I was really hoping that this would work out well for off-roading was really what I wanted. I thought, oh cool, if I go and uh, go dirt biking, I thought maybe I could just throw the controller in my backpack. 
and it probably would work um, you know you'd have no idea if your drone I guess is crashed or anything behind you kind of just hope for the best but it doesn't seem to do well low and even higher up here um, what am I I'm, uh, I'm almost 60 feet up and there I gimbal up to try to find the truck because look how far I've gotten from it and it's not like I'm going very fast so there we go that's the uh, that's the demo guys I just I wanted to share that with you I'm gonna throw some other modes up as well hopefully you found it informative and uh, go get a phantom still rocks thanks for watching guys